Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Indian State Roleplay. Dicky Icky Cheese here. Making sticky flowers over here, man. And I just got my, uh, I guess it's not really new, but it, it's new to me and new to us. It's, it's my new home. It's fucking camper, man. I know, better than that van. Yep, at least it, uh, it, it fits us comfortably. Uh, there's a bed back there, and I think the chairs fold down into a bed, something like that. I but I mean I got I I could afford a new one, but uh, I kind of want to keep it retro because you know I don't like new gadgets. I don't know how to fucking work. Yeah, I like shit, the old so. stuff better. I was when I was in Wisconsin like a month ago and got arrested. Man, the the, the Jay Carter guy that always arrested us back in Wisconsin and even Ventura in L.A. Man, he was like, why why do you guys keep on getting your hands in these seventies vans or these old vans, man? I'm like, cause I like them, man. They're classic. They last better. They, they're they're made more better material than the bullshit that's out there today, man. Yeah, it's made out of plastic nowadays. Plus, half the new shit out there is all technology, and probably aliens are watching. Oh, and fuck, shit. oh fuck, aliens? Where? 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 Yeah, no, oh, oh, my bad, my bad, man. There ain't no aliens. Oh, uh, yeah, I was about to say, yeah. I was about to run. No, yeah, man, I, mean, I think, think it's, it's just, just all government, government bullshit, bullshit that they're fucking, fucking watching us and shit. But, anyways, we. Normally. We're running around here, we got warrants and shit, so, uh, yeah. And then, uh, nice. next couple of the next couple of times you might see us, we might be taking a two hour trip back up to Wisconsin here pretty soon to get more of our stuff. Yeah. Our cheese. I mean, technically, I shouldn't even have a warrant. I've been to jail like so many times in Indiana, and they still haven't found out that uh, it's me. And they took me to jail not too long ago, and uh, apparently I didn't go for that warrant, so I, I don't know if it's closed or not. Yeah, that's fucked up. These cops are just trying to trump us up with charges, always hassling us, man. Anything they can get us on, man. All because of the fucking color yellow. Yeah, they did Jake, they did Jake Carter told me one time, he was like, I know it's you guys because when I see that yellow van or anything yellow go by, I just think it's you guys. It's fucking profiling, if you ask me. That man. is profiling. Discrimination. Yeah, it is discrimination. Fuck. fuck the law. Yeah, fuck the law. Especially the Indiana police, apparently, from what I heard, man. They don't have to read us our rights anymore. Apparently not, but it's whatever, man. I, I guess we could always take them to court on that shit. Yeah, well, I, I told the last cop there, I'll see him in court. He tried to, he tried saying that he searched me, but he never searched me, and I had a cigarette pulled out in the jail cell. He was like, what are you doing with this cigarette, man? And I'm like, you didn't search me? He was like, yeah, I searched you. I'm like, no, you didn't search me, and then we call him back of trying to get, like, the body cam footage from, like, uh, Tuco and all of them. I called all the higher-ups out there in uh, Kyle, and they all sat down, and they all did some digging, and they found the information, and he, he never searched me. Yeah, that's wild, man. Yeah, they're supposed to search you before they put you in the vehicle. And yeah, I know. They're supposed to search you anytime they take you to fucking jail. Yep, and they're, they're supposed to get things that a stick put, hurt me in, and sometimes me and you make the joke saying, yeah, our dicks. <laughs> yep. But, I guess, let me put my lawn chair away, and I guess we can figure something out for the day's plan, man. I don't know, it's kind of nighttime. It is. We could dr drive around and see what's up. Eventually. I don't know, but I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna run inside. Yeah, same here, man. Oh, fuck, you look so different without the fucking hat on, man. <laughs> You're bald. Yep. Make you lost his hair. You give me a pack of the. I'll, t I'll take some cowboy killers of the redwoods. Uh, you got any red shoe? I'll take some of that. Um, I'm gonna take a, a blue slushy. That, that's my favorite. The, the little slushy things over there. Uh, I'm gonna grab an E. Cola too. Oh yeah, and I want some strawberry rails. Here, here here's here's forty dollars. Keep the change, darling. I'm just gonna grab it all. I'll grab it now. You just sit there. I'll grab it. Alright. Grab this. Alright, thanks, darling.
A few moments later. Yeah, let's get some goods, man. Yeah. like sun lotion oh man that's condoms up there you want condoms no well yeah I don't want to have another kid I ain't trying to get a kid again uh, okay I already had yeah. one and we had to get yeah, rid of the motherfucker yeah cause then we yeah oh lace chips man yeah to start all in these bags I got bags right here man oh they got the ketchup ones I don't know if, I don't like those uh, I mean, see. we get high sometimes. We don't even remember what we eat. Hey, I want the uh, kettle crusted. Uh, uh, the how about Nashville, these? How about these? Nashville, Nashville hot chicken ones, man. How about these hot chips? The extra yeah, ones. Flaming flame flame hot Cheetos extras. Yeah, there we go. I don't know. I'm not much of a soda drinker anymore, man. Nah. Oh, wait, nah, yeah, let's get some colas so when we mix our drinks later tonight. Yeah, we can mm. get a bottle of Jack, too. Yeah, exactly. It's the only thing that really soda is really good for nowadays. Uh, beer. Where's the beer aisle, man? I don't know. They got like two pop aisles and like two chip aisles, man. And there's more pop over here, too. What the hell? It's supposed to be a super Walmart, man. You got like the same shit everywhere. Uh, let's see, that says soft drink, drink mixes, bottled water, maybe drink mixes? Maybe. Tomato sauce? No, I don't want that. Um, some veggies? Ooh, some bread. Yeah, let's get some bread. Have some butter and bread tonight. Hell yeah. What we got over here? Chicken noodles, man. I got a microwave in the in the fucking yeah. I'll just throw, it's I'll just yeah, throw a bro. bunch in these bags. Oh yeah. There we go. These oh, oh, there's the Doritos, bro. Oh yeah. Spicy I, nacho. Get about yeah. uh, four bags of those. Yeah, five bags of the spicy nachos. Uh, and the uh, the uh, tangy nachos. The too. tangy nachos. Five bags of those. You no, know get five bags of everyone. Uh, I want Fruity Pebbles, I want French Toast Crunch. Yep, sure. Uh, grab all these. Uh, the Reese's Puffs. Yep, I grab all this. Oh, uh, here we go, I got the beer. Ah, uh, yeah, finally. That's all I got for beer, though? It's just this? It's like the craft shit. Where's the piss washer at, man? Uh, you got douche, the uh, Baracko. Green flower. I'm gonna grab some. I'm gonna grab some veggies. What kind of veggies you want, man? Mushrooms. Yeah, I'll grab some mushrooms. Broccoli. Broccoli. Uh, I guess you can get tomatoes and lettuce too. Tomatoes and lettuce. All right, here we go. And this is a lot. What we get back here? Oh shit! Is this a pharmacy, man? I think it is the pharmacy, man. Oh shit! Ain't nobody over here. Oh shit! What's this? Vita, Excedrin. I mean, that's for headaches and shit. Um. Oh shit, man! The good stuff's over here. Oh shit! Yeah, I've been loading up a lot of all this. Stir this in your too, man. Fuck, man, there's some oxycodone right there. Yeah. Oh, hey, man, here's your Trojan condoms right here. Oh, shit, yeah, I'll take those. I mean, I ain't paying for this anyways. Ground beef. Uh, you got a fridge? I got a cooler in the fucking, in the, uh, camper. Yeah, it should work. 
Yeah, it worked. Yep. There's a little mini fridge in there. I think I need some supplies for it, though. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think, I, think, I think we got what we okay. need. There's some pork over here. Grab a couple pork chops. Grab some pork, all right. Let's see. There's a. Uh, all right, you got the pork. Yeah, I got the pork. Who's that cat doing, man? I don't know, man. I don't know. He's kind of, kind of scared me a little bit. He kind of did, man. I was a little scared for a second. Yeah, right. Hey, have you guys happen to see anybody in here bleeding? Bleeding? Bleeding. Like, did uh, they come in here? No, nope, I haven't seen nobody, it's just been us. I mean, do you want to bleed? Oh, no, no I, I prefer not to, I'm just trying to figure well, no out. no one else is in here bleeding. Okay. Unless it was another officer, he was just walked that way. Okay, alright, thank you guys. Yep. Bleeding. Bleeding. What the fuck is bleeding? I don't know what that guy's talking about, man. Mm -hmm. I think we ought to get out of here. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Oh, do we need any milk? Yeah, but grab a gallon. My bags are full, man. I'm just gonna walk out these bags. I'm not paying. Oh, right, yeah. I got what I need. Hey, man. Later that same evening. All right, man, I'm going to start making some stuff back here. Really? Hey, don't worry, I'm putting the food away. I'm gonna start cooking something. What do you want? I want some pork chops, man. Alright, I'm gonna start cooking some pork chops, man. Okay. Alright, there we go. Start cooking these pork chops. What happened? Are we getting pulled over? No, we was, but he dipped. That's fine. Don't 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 ruin our fucking dinner. Meanwhile, here's a sandwich, man. Made you a pork sandwich. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, there you, there you go. Nice little breeze sitting here off the highway. Many unbearable hours later. And here comes a cop. He's gonna be like, why? Oh, um, I think we're good, man. But just don't, don't stress. Oh shit. No, I am stressing. I got in a lane. Yeah, try to not let this biker, like, get into a part where this cop could get in front of him. Ah, oh, fuck, he turned. Ah, uh, yep, there we go. We're definitely probably gonna get stopped for the 911 calls we made on us. I mean, we already cooked the pork chops, so. <laughs> I threw everything else and RP out of the cabinets that you got back here. Uh. 
Oh shit, you got some nudie magazines on the wall. I didn't see that, man. I'm just trying to help that guy out. <laughs> Can't help him out right now. I'm not system. I just got pulled over on the way over there. <laughs> Take my head. <laughs> Hello. How's you going, man? I'm doing good. My name is Deputy Smith of the Indian Sheriff's Church Department. Do you know the reason why I'm stopping you today? No, I don't. The reason why I stop you today is because you don't have doors in the RV, okay? And that's a traffic yeah. violation, okay? Oh, okay, man. Tell me about what about those Jared, Jeeps. what's your first and last name? What about the Jeeps, man? I see Jeeps have no doors. Yeah. So that's the reason why I'm stopping you. That's all. That's just, I have to give a reason why I'm stopping you. I can't just stop you for no reason. There's no plate, or, uh, oh, sorry, my bad. No doors on the RV. It's not illegal. Yeah, you gotta have doors on the RV, okay? No. Is that is that illegal? What's up? Is that illegal? Because I'm pretty sure Jeeps don't have doors sometimes. Yeah, hence you said sometimes, right? Yeah, but I mean they can take off. You know, I, I got some in the back. I could put it back on. What was that? Sorry, I didn't hear that part. He said, just like Jeeps, man, you could take them off and put them on. And these, uh, these come off and they, I could put them back on. Okay. Well, you know, it's not safe to have you, uh, no doors on the road, especially on the highway with that. Uh, okay. Tell me you've done it for years. I mean, I've been doing it for a while now. Okay. What's your first and last name, buddy? It's going to be Jesse Nixon. <laughs> You said Jesse D Dixon? Nixon. Uh, hand me your ID real quick. I'll get you on your way, okay? He wants you to really fucking do ID. There you go, bud. I didn't get it. Uh, Skybox. Okay. Sounds good. Sit that for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, buddy, what's your name in there, bud? Sit back there so I can address you by your name back there. Nope, I wasn't being pulled over. I'm not telling you. Alright, you have the right to do that. That's fine. I just want to see what your name was so I can address you by your name. My name's Buddy. What's your name? My name's Buddy. Zero. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> hey, he, at least he was leaning about it. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, you, you have the right to do that. Yep, I wasn't pulled over. If I'm not pulled over and they ask me for my name, I'm not giving it. Oh. Not legit. <laughs> and he's locked out of his car. <laughs> not legit. I'm snipping. What is that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey buddy, can I? No, you can get my fucking name. If I was the one driving, I'd give it to you. And plus, you already used Jesse Nixon, so. Ah, uh, really? Uh, I was about to say, they're about to fucking code five us. I think they, they might be going to that prior. Yeah, they're going to that prior. I thought they were about to cut five of us. But then again, that's, that's straight ahead, though. He could have went somewhere else. Or maybe he already killed someone and found someone else to do it. I don't know. Yeah, they fucked up. 
thinking I was gonna give him my name. I gave him my name. They tried to drop me up the other day. Arrest me for bullshit I didn't even do. It's yeah. alright, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay, uh, Nixon. <laughs> you was about to say Dickie. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was. I forgot you used fucking Jesse Nixon's name. That's one thing I like about Indiana. They got no IDs. I wish they did have IDs, though, so that way when we did give a fake ID, they pull it up. Like, wait a minute. That's not you. Yeah, I wish that we could be able to do that for, like, the pictures. And yeah, shit. that way when I would have gave the cop Jesse Nixon the other day, he'd been like, well, why is Jesse Nixon coming up to some guy that looks younger than you? And I don't know what you're talking about, man. Hey, sir, uh, on the vehicle registration, uh, who owns this vehicle? Oh shit! Uh, are are you the owner name? of the vehicle or the person behind you? Is the owner? No, I'm not the owner of the vehicle. A buddy of mine owns it. All right. So who's the owner? Is the owner back there sitting back no, there? Or? No, he's not in the van. Yeah, he just said, "Hey, buddy." Just because my name's Buddy doesn't mean it's me. Sir, I'm not speaking to you back there. Just ten to back there, so I can speak to the driver, buddy. Oh yeah, no, the uh, owner's not in the van, man. Okay. So is this just a friend in the car? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, man. Blow your smoke the other way. It's just a vape, man. I got it from the gas station. I think it was down it in Grove. smells funny. Place. It was down in like, Grove. It smells funny. It's probably... Uh, do I smell any uh, drug or alcohol in the vehicle or anything like that? Um, no, you shouldn't. No, I don't think so. I think his fucking vape is just burnt. Alright, so, uh, you're just gonna be let off a verbal warning today, okay? I'm gonna hand okay. you back your information. Um, here you go. And then, uh, just drive safe, okay? You have any questions for me before I let you go? Negative, sir. You got any questions back there, buddy? Nope, I don't, pal. All right, well, one more thing before you take off, okay? I just want to let you know that uh, this vehicle, the registered owner, alerts a warrant in the vehicle. So, I, you know, I want to make sure that none of you guys are the person I'm looking for. Wait, wait say that again. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I said when I look the vehicle, when I look up the license plate on here, it says someone has a warrant that's the registered owner. So I just want to make sure none of you guys are in the car that... Oh no, no. That guy, we, we, we went to the city and picked it up and he said he was going out of town for a while. We, he'd let us borrow it. Yeah, the guy who owns this, I guess he's in hiding from the cops. He don't he don't want to be found, so yeah, I guess he called us and said we could drive it around and stay in it. Yeah, we're homeless, man. You're homeless? How long have you guys been homeless for? Years. Shit. Years, man. We're, we're always homeless. I live in my van, but he bought the, well, he got this from a buddy, and, and now we're sitting here just living in it for the time being. It's better than living in the van. It's got a bed in here, man. Alright. Okay. Well. Oh. You guys have a good one, okay? You too, sir. Have a good one, man. Two. Hey, to pal. Let's get yeah, it. a close one, Mickey. Yeah, that was a close one, Mickey. <laughs> much, much, much later. What do they want? What's going on? I don't know, man. Oh damn, there's six seats in this thing because I just swapped through the four of the back seats because there's four seats in the back and the two in the front. That's cool. I didn't know that. Can you sit on the bed too or no? Uh, no, just the four seats. There's two chairs that face straight and then two chairs oh, that face baby, backwards. Why do we all these fucking cops? 
Maybe uh, I did a 911 call. You tell my god. Uh -huh. How's it going, gentlemen? What's going on, man? What's going on, man? I'm doing all right. You guys, uh, my name is Deputy Brown with the Lake County Sheriff's Office K9 Unit. The reason for the stop today is because I clocked you doing 82 and a 70 coming southbound on here on Sonora. Ain't no way, man. That's what my radar read, man. This thing doesn't go that fast. That's fucking wild. This thing can barely uh, go past 55, man. It's all right, but um, can I get some license registration proof insurance real quick? Can we give them our name? Like actual name. If you, you guys want. don't have anything in the vehicle that actually, that actually or you can give them Jesse Nickens like guns, knives, weapons, bombs, bombs, uh, bombs. What the fuck? I'm just it's just I, it's just random questions is all. That's all. Uh, Are you trying to profile me as like a bomber? No, 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 no definitely not. I do, I do not profile. Oh. It sounds like it. it sound, I mean, yeah, but no, no bombs in here. Okay. I mean, I can go buy one. I don't know where I'd please, buy it at. Please don't do that. Please well, do I don't that. even know where I'd buy one at, I told you. Yeah. But I said I could well, try to look. Well, can I get the uh, driver's license of the driver here, please? You can give him Jesse if you want. I don't care. There you go, right. man. Mr. Nixon, correct? Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Nixon, just hang out here and have a chat with my deputy on the other side right there, and then I'll be right back with you, all right? Mm hmm So basically, the 911 call I put in, I put in that, uh, I put in that... Uh, Jesse Nixon's ID got stolen, and I put the the RV, the yellow RV, and I put the guy that stole my ID. His name's Dicky Cheese, and his buddy's Mickey Flowers. Oh. I want to go to jail for this fucking warrant, bro. I want this warrant off of me. It's been like a two, three weeks so far, almost. Here comes this cop. So, how y'all doing today? All right. Not too bad, man. How about Not you? Not too bad. Ah, uh, it could be, you know, could be better. Luckily, there's no dead people today, so that's good. I guess you that's know. always a good day. Yep. Yeah. Well, well, well. What y'all do? I don't know. Wait. Apparently, they said we're speeding. Know. This thing doesn't uh, go past 55. Yeah, it doesn't look like it should be going 55. This thing's uh, slow. I'm not trying to be disrespectful on the on the vehicle, but it's an old vehicle, man. Damn. I see you guys have a taste in posters back there. Yeah, <laughs> we sure do. You can go in and get a better look if you want. No, I'm okay. I have a wife. I, want that. I had a wife. Had? Uh-oh. Yeah, she, Sorry. she's dead. Sorry about that. Yeah, I killed her. What'd you say? I mean, I could say that. I already got arrested for it, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Yep, and I killed his son. Yeah, let me guess, you get arrested too? Yep. Yep, all in Wisconsin. All in Wisconsin, okay. That's why we came here. Yeah, but we had to leave. Uh, you guys didn't get life for that? For killing two people? You we got good life? lawyers. You got good lawyers, so they, you know, you took two lives. They didn't get life. Okay, well, I'm going to hand you back over to, to this Lake County deputy here. Nah, okay. James, come with me for a minute. Oh, never mind. Yep. <laughs> they, they know that's a fucking fake fucking idea, bro. Finally. Let me see if I can hear him. Hold on. I can't. No, I can't either. I know that's what they're talking about, though, because that's the 911 call I made. I said that. I, said I put in the uh, slash ME, and then it says, what, uh, it searches Jesse Nixon, what do I see? It said, sees a picture of a young kid not matching the driver. <laughs> yep, I said in the 911 call, I said that you're the one that stole the ID, and I said... And then his buddy is Mickey Flowers, and they're both wanted. Oh, he's getting asked. What's he getting out of his car? Oh, okay. Come on. Okay. Code 5. What should... I don't know. Alright, driver, man. I need you to step out for me. Uh, 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 why, man? Step out. Uh... Uh, oh, okay. If you want, I can step out and you can drive Passenger, off. you're going to listen to that officer on that side. All right, man. Hey, step out, buff. All right. Yeah, what's all right, what's going on? Around. Turn back around. What, what are you doing? It's just for my safety, all right? Just turn around. All right, man. All righty. Like he just said, just for my safety. Okay. I'm going to arrest you. detaining you for right Detain. now, all right? Okay. All right, man. All right. 
Alright, do you have any escape poke me, stick me, stab me, and piss me off anyway? No, just my ID on me, man. Do you have anything on you that's gonna put me through? Do you have any injuries that you know about? Yeah, any brain trauma, brain trauma, Maybe a back lighter, trauma. Is it? Nope. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ask you some questions. You have the right to remain silent. Ooh, excuse me. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do will be used against court of law. If you cannot afford an attorney, the attorney be appointed to you by the Indiana State. With these rights of mine, would you like to ask any questions for me? Uh, yeah, why, 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 why am I got cuffs on me? So, apparently, the driver of the vehicle has a lengthy record, and one of his records is pertaining to this. Um, for you, it's just our safety, just because if you don't pull out, you know, try killing one of us. You did mention you killed somebody in the past, so you're in the back of the car detained. You're not under arrest. Well, I killed her because she threw me off the highway bridge. She tried killing me. Oh, didn't explain that when we were having the little chat there, so that's why you're back. Oh, of course. Yeah. I mean, you didn't ask my whole life story. I didn't. You're correct. But, you know, you kind of gave it to me. So, yeah, I true. Assumed, but you're back there. So, you're not under arrest. Just give us a little memento and we'll be right back. A few moments later. <laughs> come on. <laughs> All right. Sir Mickey, it's not looking good for you, buddy. You got a warrant. A warrant for what? All right, you want me to tell you everything? Yeah, you can tell it's me quite, everything. It's quite lengthy, all right? I'm going to go on my laptop here. Yeah, you can tell me everything. All right, stand by. So you got uh, one for possession and intent to distribute. Okay, that, I, that's probably true. Possession, class two drug. Yep. Oh, I got to scroll down here. Weapons, oh, shit. Weapons trafficking, distributive class two drug, felony evasion. So that's two times of distributing oh, felony shit. evasion. So on it, uh, officer and EMN. I gotta scroll down again. Attempted murder of an LEO, animal cruelty, public intoxication, third two. Officer. Animal cruelty, and I never did that. And I gotta scroll down again. That's a lot, man. Some of those charges seem true. This is Uno number two of trespass. And an account of reckless driving. Some of those charges so, are false, man. I, de I definitely didn't abuse an animal. Okay, you're going to jail. Um, that's we're gonna be that's court dates up. for you. Uh, so if you want to fight the charges in court, that is absolutely your right. Um, I admit to some of those charges, but again, definitely the animal the abuser, rights. I don't abuse, man. Well, this is where the arguing goes to the court. So, as your rights, if you cannot afford an attorney, attorney be appointed to you by the state of Indiana. Anywho, you're going to be spending a couple, uh, well, mostly your life in jail. No, it's um, fucked up. But you will have a court date set, but you're going to go to jail. That's fucked um, up. And the parole will be set. Okay. All right, man. So as far as your buddy kind of faced the ground, I don't know where the hell he went um, after that accident that just happened. Quote, unquote, accident. But uh, he's also got a warrant as well, so he's going to jail as well. So, yeah. but he's going to jail for a lesser time. You have, or no, you're going to jail for a lesser time. He's going to jail for uh, oh, almost shit. his life. Damn, yeah. man. Yeah, so you're not going to see him for a really long time. That's, okay. that's fucked up. So that's the situation you got going on. Alrighty, as I say, I'll take this to court because I agree to some of those charges, not all of them, though. Again, that's uh, not for me to decide. I know. That's uh, for what the judge signed off on. So they will, you'll see the judge again. And probably three more times. So. Yeah. You have time to fight, man. It's fucked up. James, were you calling for a super Later. Because I never for once in my life ever hit an animal. Where did he go? Uh, not know. Okay. He it, can figure it out. He's getting a special treatment, I think. <laughs> of course. Man, this place looks familiar. Yup. Luckily, you ain't staying in this one. Aw, oh, man. It sucks. You're going hey, to the big boy. Come on, man. Put him in here. No, do not put him in there. It's big enough. Dickie, what's going on, man? A few moments later. Come on, man. Have a seat.
fuck, man. Yep. How they, they uh, they were, uh, they were just, I, I could barely hear them through the windows, but they were definitely super happy that they found out we had a shit ton of warrants. I know, the, the one guy that arrested me, it was his first day, he said he was really happy that he gets to arrest me with all these warrants. So I said, I'm not happy. He said, but I am. I said, I'm not. You know what this means now, right? We're going away for a long time. And that's what he told me. He said that I'm probably never going to see you again. That's what the one cop told me. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. That's I mean, what he told me. We're in here together now, unless you get moved. Yeah, he told me something about that you got more charges than what I got, apparently, even though my list was pretty long, but they said that you got more than you, what I got. I was, told, I was told by the one cop that you had two warrants, and I just had one, but I had 15 fucking charges, and you had, like, 12. Yeah, they said you had more charges than me, and you're going longer than me. They told me that uh, you can get life from what the one cop told me. Yeah, they didn't They didn't mention that. Yeah. Didn't read me my rights, didn't tell me. I got, I, I got my about. rights read. Uh, see, typical Indiana, they just don't like me. There are just certain cops choose to read them and certain cops don't. It's whatever, man, but yeah, I guess... Uh, I mean, no matter what, we're going to go to jail just because we seen in that yellow van or anything yellow, you know? I think that's an unlucky color for us, man. Yeah, but I'm never going to get rid of that color because that's my favorite color, man. I know, man. It's the same color as cheese. I know, man. I love cheese. And I do too, but it doesn't look like we're going to be smoking anytime soon. No. By the time we get out of here, fuck, man, I don't know how long we're going to be in here. Yeah, but hey, we could always uh, talk to like the higher-ups in Kyle and try to get us out and go to Wisconsin. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, we could probably try and... Shoot. Yeah, we're going to have to wait because... And out of jail. Okay. Yeah, man, I don't know if we're going to be able to get out of here anytime soon. We're going to have to talk to the people in Cayo. Yeah, we, we, may, we may have to go to Wisconsin for a while. Yeah, I think so, man. That's fine. Uh, I mean, I was just in Wisconsin. I mean, they got a lot of new stuff out there, man. Yeah, I know. I hear that uh, we might be able to buy that fucking, uh, fucking apartment above that one bar. Yeah, I saw it over there, and I was talking to Tuco and them. We're like, hey, you know that house you're talking about? They're like, we found one similar to that. It's in Wisconsin. I'm like, oh, so what happened to the one in Indiana? He, he told me something about uh, the bar owners uh, that uh, own the bar downstairs. Apparently, they're illegal Mexicans. Something like that, man. Yeah, yeah so, they the had, so they had to tear down the building, and some new owners bought it and put something else there. Yeah, I don't know, man, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we might have to lay low from Indiana for a while if we can get out of here. Yeah, that's fine, man. I mean, hey, just like the, the last cop I talked to that arrested me, the one that was so happy that he got his first, like, arrest warrants and whatnot, I said, don't worry, and I was like, just like that me killing my wife and Dickie killing my son, I'm like, we got good lawyers, we got out. Yeah. We're gonna have to talk to somebody, maybe either we can get a prison break or get the fuck out of here somehow. Yeah, somehow. We'll figure it out, man. We always do. Yes. Yeah, but I'm hoping they don't throw us the whole fucking death penalty because that was a lot. That was a lot, man, but we've done, we've I mean, done so much. I mean, but I told that cop when he was reading me all the arrest warrants and all that, like the charges and shit, I said, man, I kept, I, like, a few of them, I was telling them, like, no, and whatnot, but he just kept on talking, like, he wouldn't not let like, me get a word in and whatnot, but, like, I tried Same. telling him, I tried telling him, I'm like, well, I'm going to, like, I'm going to, like, agree to some of those charges, but some of them are fake, like, I told him, I never hit a dog or an animal or whatever. He, yeah, said, he, know, he right? said he said animal cruelty. I'm like, nah, nope, that, that was never me. And never once in my life have I hit an animal. Yeah, and then when he was reading off that charge to me, there was a fucking, you had two canine dogs next to me, and they were growling at me. I mean, back in, like, probably, like, the 90s or, like, the like the early 2000s when I had that one cat, remember, Snow? Like, yeah, I hit her a few times, but she was, like, clawing up my furniture. I was yeah, just teaching just her a lesson. Cat. Yeah, I was just trying to teach her a lesson, a dick face coon. <laughs> yeah, right. I miss her sometimes. It's been many years. Just like you that, man. Just like that dog you had, Sheba. Man, I miss that dog. Mm -hmm. That was a nice dog, I miss, man. I miss my dog, Sheba, man. I know. Then that new dog you got, you didn't even have it for a day, man. Yeah, I don't even fucking uh, Rufus, I think, man. Yeah, Rufus. Cops killed Rufus. his ass. 
I know, man. I saw that. I, I was like, and even though I was down on the ground because they shot me, but I saw that. I was, I was crying, man. Yeah, it was fucking. I talk about animal cruelty on me. It was animal cruelty on them. Exactly. Fucking cops think they got badges and they can just blip their signs and do what they want and they pull us over. That the badges we gotta listen to them. It's bullshit. Exactly, man. Some definitely some fucking bullshit. It is some fucking bullshit, man. Fuck. Yeah, well, I'm being told I gotta go to my cell, man. Same. Where you at? Top floor or bottom? I'm at the top. I'm at the top floor up here. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but other than that, uh, whenever we go to lunch next time or whatever, and we can talk, I'll talk to you next time. Yeah. Where's your cell at? I'm straight ahead right up there. Oh, yeah, I'm just like the the room to the left right by those stairs. Not directly in front of them, but the one to the left. Oh, that one right there? Yeah. Alright, All right. fuck. Uh, I'll see you next time, man. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, Mickey Sticky Flowers. Finally, after so many arrests in Indiana, all the cops won't... Well, I mean, a lot of cops know who I am in the server and other servers, but the few times I give them a fake name or got arrested for some dumb shit, they never really basically found out it was me and trumped me up with those charges that some of them, as I say, are true, some of them are not true. But out of RP, my buddy did that on purpose. I told him to do it. I gave him the 100% okay to do so. I want to see Mickey and Dickie always get trumped up with charges. And him getting trumped up with a charge and this and that whatnot, it just makes it more funner for us because then we get pulled over and they do all these. And obviously, we could have ran if we wanted to, but we chose not to. We just, I, me personally, I wanted those charges off of me. It's been a while. No one's caught me. I'm surprised they didn't, and some of the cops know who I am in this server and other servers I play, which is used to be LA, and well, maybe one day I might go back to that, but now it's Wisconsin and Indiana, and basically in both of those, a lot of the cops know who Mickey and Dickie is, but I haven't got arrested for those charges, and then today was the day I decided with the RP that we did in the video that you just watched and seen, I decided throughout the time on RPN. Let's do a 911 call saying that Dicky stole some guy named Jesse Nixon's ID and then the person he stole it um, from was actually Jesse Nixon and he saw that the guy getting the uh, RV which is yellow which his name he knew was Dicky Cheese and he was with his buddy Mickey Flowers and I decided to do something like that but we got pulled over originally for speeding which I had told my buddy at the time is probably that 911 call I made. He was like wait uh what? <laughs> but it was for speeding then they realized wait a minute and then that's when we got the RP so I got those charges off of me we may be gone from Indiana for a while with these two characters but we are going to bring them back in Wisconsin it, you may not see them here for a while in Indiana but it doesn't mean you're not going to see them in Wisconsin heck who knows I may end up going back to LA in the future or if one of my buddies that is a cop that knows Mickey and Dickie very well I mean not, he's not really a buddy buddy but he's someone I really kind of know in the RP community and he's really fun and he knows how to do a really legit job about it and if he opens up his servers with his friends Georgia even though it's kind of offline right now maybe online I don't know but if he does I'll go there if until then I got two servers that I kind of like I don't like Wisconsin uh, due to the fact that you got your SIV levels and which that's the only thing I hate about that one this one there's certain things I hate about it as well so I mean Every server has their flaws. Every server has things they like, just like in LA. I hated that you had to eat food and drink water or you would die. Kind of dumb. But, I mean, every server has their flaws. Every server has things that you hate and like, you know. So, I mean, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I got caught with those charges. Dickie got caught with those charges. We're going to be gone from Indiana for a while. So, Indiana will be different characters for the time being coming out. And we're going to bring Mickey and Dickie back to Wisconsin. I know for sure I am. I don't know about Dickie 100% sure all the time. But I know Wisconsin is something I do like to play. It sucks you can't run as a level 1. But it is what it is. If I want to run, I'll just jump to Indiana. And this is where I can get my running from the law out of my system where in Wisconsin I could do kind of my more legit RP where it's not all about the running because you don't got to run every time you really don't a lot of people do I like to do it time to time don't get me wrong but 
Sometimes just take me to jail. I deserve to go. I'm not going to run. Just take me. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. My buddy down below, Crazer1000, which he normally used to go by, which doesn't matter. You can still look that up and you'll find him. But now it goes by God damn it, Danny. And it's, well, some people here on my channel has been asking where his videos was back in the day. And, well, his channel, you can go view him. You can go see him. And most of the time when I'm Mickey... <laughs> He's Dicky. If I'm recording, he's recording, or he may be doing something else, and he's probably recording because he's a cop now too. So you get the criminal and the cop side on his channel. Or me, that's not what I want to do. But I mean, that's just my preference. Other than that, you're still gonna see the fun out of this and many more content of GTA RP videos and other games and stuff and lives I decided to bring to this channel. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.